want to go back to the photo shoot because you, I want you to explain this character because on, <laughs> on Bree's um, episode page, you know, I put a bunch of our favorite portraits from this session that we did just for the podcast. These photos will live on in your other creative <laughs> spaces, but the impetus for the portrait shoot was this conversation. So mm -hmm. um, tell me about this character that you sort of dreamt up uh, and, and executed for, for a portrait shoot. <laughs> You know, I was just thinking about about so like so much of what we've talked about about this integration of spirituality and creativity and um, you know change and there's this fierce feminine feline energy to that that I think is we can all feel it culturally afoot and I kind of just wanted to um, play dress up as this you know patron saint of all artists you know, muse, muse, muse of the mystics. Yeah. Um, and, and play with that, you know, iconography a little bit of, of, uh, of the dynamism of becoming and creativity, you know, yeah. that it's like you see a guitar, you see a paintbrush and you, you, you don't associate with it as, as a flat object. You associate yeah. with the music it creates or with the shapes that, that the brush is going to make. And, I'm so drawn to anything that moves us toward that imagination that, yeah, I kind of yeah. just started putting some things together, like you do on a, you know, Thursday, and you're, like, exactly. ordering things off Amazon, <laughs> like, yeah, I should find a halo made out of zip ties, like, yeah. Well, one thing I really appreciate about you as an artist and as a person, because it, it really talks about you as a person and a friend, I believe, now, is just, like, you know, working with, with your video project, which again, I'll put that on the artist page so we can look at what we, uh, the song we did with uh, Avila. But it's a really about vulnerability mm -hmm. and in projecting this vulnerability and to really be great about even this photo shoot that we did today, to think very strategically about how you wanted to piece this wardrobe together, how mm -hmm. you wanted to present that for the camera, this character you were thinking that came from a place from inside you and what you're feeling about nurturing and spirituality and growth and humanity. And, you know, it really comes down to humility and also being kind of fearless. You know, you have to, because Ooh. I tell you what, most people could not put on the costume that you did <laughs> and have the power. <laughs> if I put it on, <laughs> no, it would be ridiculous. <laughs> Well, like, you know the what thing. I mean? But see, to the embodiment of The embodiment of, of yeah. it. You know, I also think this is the power of community because, you know, Brennan being here is our creative director and Angie, our makeup artist, who is both of them part of the shoot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, feeding off each other, it's that the trust that we have in one another as a creative community is part of how we arrive at those moments of fearlessness. But, yeah, I mean, it's like... Yeah, I've had a couple kids and I'm like parading around in my underwear and like, you know, these beautiful kimono robes. But I think I wanted to I wanted to convey the sense of softness and vulnerability that we've been in this past year. Mm -hmm. And that was even a decision that Brennan and I made this morning where I was like, should we do this? Should we not? Um, and in saying that out loud and saying like, yeah, but this year for all of us has been dressed down. Yeah, we've all of us like unrobed from yeah. so much. And that there was something about that tender, vulnerable place that I wanted to communicate visually, and I'm glad we did. Yeah, it was a really fantastic shoot, and especially when you articulate it in that way. I think um, when people see the portraits and see the series that we did, we'll be seeing much more and reading much more deeply into just maybe a, a nicely crafted wardrobe or a nicely crafted photograph or lighting or whatever it might be. There's a lot of layers metaphorically that we're bringing you and Brennan and everyone, Angie too, to the thing. And this is what I love about this, this, this medium that we work in is it's collaborative and it's uh, supportive and um, it's in a place where you can feel safe enough to be that vulnerable. The Full Exposure Podcast is brought to you by Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, in appreciation of the creative and artistic visionaries who enrich our lives through cultural connections. <laughs>